Okay, so I've adjusted the tracking and we'll see how it does now. Which is crazy because I just barely set the tracking and nothing happened. So I haven't changed and changed. just going nuts. I'm glad I got that on film. That was a good one to film. Holy piss. Yeah, the servo motor's just going berserk, but both the blades shot out. Apparently what happened is one of the screws that goes through there on the, what do you call it, the uh, feathering shaft. I didn't have it tight or something happened because the blades basically just shot out both sides and just dropped the helicopter straight down. So I lost a servo. I jacked up my uh, let's see, whoa, what's going on here? I lost one of my linkages for the head. I lost a servo, I lost the fly bar, and I adjusted the tracking just thinking, oh, it's just tracking, that's weird. But yeah, if you set the tracking and then it's off again for no reason, I'd check your fly bar. It'd be worth checking out because I just threw a head apart and lost all that stuff. So, anyway. Let that be a lesson to me. Funny thing about flying helicopters is I found it doesn't matter how good you are at flying them, it doesn't matter what your deal is, shit still happens. You get mechanical failures, you still crash. It looks like my blades turned out fine. I mean, they went straight out. I made a little mark on things, but not bad. But sure enough, you look at the feathering shaft and it's apart doesn't look like it even bent it, it just threw them straight out. Dude, I was just looking at the tracking a second ago, holding the helicopter up at this level, like eye level and looking at the tracking. That's some scary stuff right there. I could have come out and like stuck it in my forehead. That'd be crazy. That's the worst case scenario for you, huh? Anyway, that was fun. <laughs> oh my God.